let us consider A, B, C as production possibility function. Now we are trying to explain the law of increasing opportunity cost using this production possibility function which has x, y as two products. Okay. All other assumptions of production possibility function holds good. Scarce resources, okay. highest efficiency and lastly full employment of resources. Now, so the law of increasing opportunity cost says that as you increase, go or as you go on increasing x, okay, I will explain it. As you go on increasing the x, you have to sacrifice more and more y. <coughs> This is what the production possibility, uh, law of increasing opportunity cost tells us. Let us examine using this graph. So I will mark, say initially we will increase the x from 0 to this and we call it as delta x1, okay, x1. Then we increase x2, x1 to, from x1 to x2, we call it as delta x2. Then from the x2 to we increase to x3, we call it as delta x3. From x3 to we increase to x4, we call it as delta x4. From x4 we increase to x5, we call it as delta x5. Now I have written x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 such that each increment is equal in quantity. So therefore the delta x1 should be equal to delta x2, should be equal to delta x3, should be equal to delta x4, should be equal to delta x5. Now, for a delta x1 increase, so the y sacrifice will be, so this is the first point, so y sacrifice will be delta y1, okay, I will write delta y1. So, for the delta x2, the y sacrifice will be, let us say, here. This we call it as delta y2. Okay, delta y2. For x3, the y sacrifice will be from this point, let us say, so we call it as delta y3. Delta y3. The corresponding y sacrifice for x4 will be from here to here, so here delta y4 okay. and corresponding for the x5 is from here to here, so this is delta y5. Okay. Now one thing you notice here is that sacrifice in y for the same sacrifice in x is not the same, it changes so therefore delta y1 is not equal to delta y2, delta y2 is not equal to delta y3, delta y3 is not equal to delta y4 and delta y4 is not equal to delta y5. If you carefully observe, delta y5 is the highest sacrifice, delta y1 is the lowest sacrifice. So it, we, we can say that delta y1 is smaller than delta y2, which is smaller than delta y3 which is smaller than delta y4, which is smaller than delta y5. So, which means that as you move from x0 to x1, you have sacrificed small, okay, and as you move x1 to x2, your sacrifice increased, right, your sacrifice still increased as you move further, as you move further, your sacrifice still increased, okay. And as you move further to x5, your sacrifice still increases. So, which means to say that the opportunity cost, which is another term for the sacrifice of some benefit, is increases as from x1 to x5. 
which is another way as you go on increasing the x you have to sacrifice more and more of y this is the meaning of in law of increasing opportunity cost if you move in the opposite direction some right hand side to left hand side let us say you are increasing the y okay and you are decrease sacrificing the x okay, sacrificing the x now this also means the same thing say you you have to as you move from left hand side to right hand side to left hand side you will get a lower for a lower amount of lower amount of increase in y you have to sacrifice the same amount of x so which is in other sense to say that your cost opportunity cost is increasing even as you are moving from right hand side to left hand side so whichever the direction you move in the along the production possibility curve the slope represents this opportunity cost and that keeps on increasing as you move from one point to another to another to another to another so highest sacrifice is made when you almost sacrifice the entire amount of y for the sake of x or entire amount of x for the sake of y